Well, I've already recorded this video, but I'm a donut and I put it on with some sort of echoing effect. <laughs> oh no. Right, okay. So today, unfortunately, we have a little bit of sad news, but it, it does reap some positives in the future. That's for sure. Also, lights. <laughs> I decided to get myself a bit of lighting. I know it's a bit dodgy back here, but I'm, I'm working with what I'm working with. I think it looks pretty neat though. Um, anyway, that aside, I hope you've had a, a wonderful Christmas um, or holidays, whatever you celebrate. If you do or don't, I hope you had a great time and also enjoy enjoy the new year. Uh, the new year is coming up. Today's the 30th, so tomorrow will be New Year's Eve when I'm going to get absolutely hammer-bashed. That aside, um, as you can tell, I've been on a little bit of a hiatus, uh, and it's not really regards to that, uh, but it definitely does apply. So what's actually going on here then is I am stepping down from the Shuffle Squad, unfortunately, as of today. And I'm sitting there, hey, sure, you've only been there for a couple months. What happened, Geisha? It's all amicable, and it was a decision of my own. Now, what's actually going on is with being a part of the Shuffle Squad, there's certain commitments that I agreed to that unfortunately I didn't uphold. These were things that I needed to do in order to make sure that I'm pulling my weight uh, on the team. And what I realized is unfortunately I couldn't really do that. Okay, I don't think couldn't is the word because technically you can, um, but it was difficult to. And what I mean by that is when it came to my list of priorities, especially during this time of year, where they, you know, there's, there's the fact that I've got to kind of put family first or I've chosen to put family first and since my granddad's passing, I've decided to commit to that and go, right, okay, I need to go ahead and just commit more time to family. Um, and that means there's times where I could make a video, but instead I spend time with the family. Um, and I've just, I've just been doing that. You know, I've just been sitting there going, right, any opportunity to have a bit more time with the family, I'm taking. Uh, like I went up to my nan's um, recently, or my granny's, um, without any sort of plans to do so. You know, that wasn't something I was planning to do, but then my mum said, do you want to come with me? Yes, immediately, right? Instead of sitting there going, oh, I've got to do videos, which is something I probably would have normally done, I went, I'm going. Um, and that happened and it was lovely, I had a great time. So that's what I've been kind of doing and why I haven't been posting since Christmas, because I was like, okay, family time, right. And unfortunately, what that means is when these other priorities come in, the uh, obligations that I've committed to kind of just fall down the list to a point where I just kind of forget to do them. And that's the last thing I want to do. I, want to, I don't want to sit here and feel like, right, I'm not doing these things that I've agreed to do. When there's other members of the team doing it and I'm getting rewarded equally, that's not fair. You know, the people who are putting in more work deserve more rewards. And I just don't want to be the one sitting here getting the same rewards for doing less work. Um, and it's not at the end of the day, it's not laziness. I'm not sitting here going, oh, I can't be bothered. No, of course, it's definitely not that. It's just the fact that I think I've just bitten off more than I can chew. And it's gotten to a point now where I just forget the smaller details because there's big things that, I, that are at the top of my priority list that I'm attending to, including just day-to-day -day life, that just go ahead of that. And unfortunately with me, I'm extremely easily distracted. Now, if I'm correct, I think it's definitely down the line of whatever mental, um, I'm going to say mental illness, although it's not really, I don't really see it like that, but officially mental illness that I've had since childhood. I don't know if it's ADHD or Asperger's, which is a low end of autism, a high functioning level. A bit of a complicated thing in the past when I was a kid, I was trying to diagnose it, but it wasn't officially diagnosed because um, the treatment was kind of controversial for it. So my mum was like, okay, you know, the cons to benefit analysis just kind of went, okay, probably better that we don't do any treatment. So I didn't get an official diagnosis. But either way, I believe the closest they said when I was younger was that I had Asperger's. And one of the symptoms of that, um, obviously there's the autistic systems, like social symptoms, like social struggles and stuff like that, which I don't really have because I'm high functioning. I don't really have those kind of uh, problems, thankfully. But things like disorganization, distraction, uh, which kind of line with ADHD, because they were kind of sitting there deciding between two as I said, and that's something I just suffer with naturally in life, right? That's just, some, that's just something that I have, which means I need to be more attentive to how my life is and making sure it's streamlined enough so I can manage that. And unfortunately, by taking on this extra responsibility with the Shuffle Squad has kind of offset that balance. And that just means I get distracted easier and I forget to do the things that I should be doing. And, and what's that, what that's led to happening is me feeling like I'm letting people down, right? It's one thing if I don't get a video up on my channel, right? <laughs> that's me, right? That's, that's on me because it's my channel. But when it's someone else's channel, when it's uh, something I've agreed to do um, and by not doing it, they, they suffer. I don't want that. I want 
only the consequences of my actions to be afflicted upon me because that's how it should be, right? If you make a mistake, you should suffer for the mistake. And that's not being too, that's not me being too harsh on myself. That's just me saying that's how it should be. I don't want to negatively impact anyone else because of my shortcomings. That's one of the worst things for me is letting people down. And that's what I was doing. And I don't want to do that. And I realized that I'm going to keep doing that. <laughs> so I need to stop and kind of rebalance things out a little bit in my life to kind of help me manage a little bit better and to commit in ways that maintain that balance. And that's a very, very important thing to me. Balance is absolutely massive. Because you could easily sit there and go, right, okay. You could have just got your head down, grafted, done all these kind of things and just really committed yourself to it. Because I could have, and you can, right? There's no such thing as having no time. It's making time. That's 100% a very, very important thing. But with me, I firmly believe in balance. I believe firmly in equally spreading your willpower and your energy and your time into things that you have determined to be the most valuable parts in your life. Equally spreading out that energy. And unfortunately, the distribution wasn't equal because of being a part here and just taking on too much. And the Shuffle Squad is one thing, unfortunately, that I took on that I shouldn't have. And that's just kind of maybe put, let's say, this times, as I said before, putting effort into the Shuffle Squad has affected other areas. Uh, or it's not even just the Shuffle Squad. I could do this the same with my channel. But I had a good balance before I joined. And then when I joined, it kind of offset. And I was like, okay. I've gone a bit too far. <laughs> and that's just my belief on how, how I live. I think that's where you get your rewards in life. If you have, right, we'll take the idea of order and chaos, which is kind of how I believe in things, right? You have the scales of order and chaos, and then a bit too much chaos comes in, and you're sitting there going, right, okay, there's way too much chaos going on, there's way too little order. You need to take some of the chaos out and get a bit more control in your life, and things get balanced out, and that's good. It feels good. Let's, like, let's say like cleaning up right? You clean up your room. Your room's full of chaos. You remove that chaos, get control, establish some order, make sure things are in place, and you feel good. And that's a genuinely good feeling. It's not just happy, it's a reward. And I feel like that applies to everything in life. So when there's too much chaos in one part of your life, when you get a little bit of control in it, and a little bit of order, it feels good. Or the opposite, if there's too much order, if you have too much control where you're actually uh, not letting things be where they should be, then you add a little bit of chaos and it's, that balancing is where you get your rewards in life. That's how I see it. That's where I find what is meaningful to me. If there's uh, too, too little time putting into friends and family, spending more time with friends and family balances out that scale. And therefore, I feel great. So that's kind of how I see things. So when I know the scales aren't balanced and I'm taking on too much to a point where I can't, uh, something has to go. Something has to get out of the way um, and be let go so I can go ahead and maintain those scales at a point where it's rewarding, it's fair, but also challenging, right? You need a bit of both. And that's kind of how it is here. And I've decided, right, okay, if I keep going down this road, it's just going to get more and more off balance. And it's going to get up to a point where I kind of have to decide where do I put all my time? And I don't want that. I want to make sure things evenly distributed. And that's kind of my decision there. Ultimately, all that together is the reason why I'm stepping down. Um, but I feel like, you know, I feel like it's good because what it means is I can kind of go back to just prioritizing the channel fully and just going down that road. Because I've already got things in the works um, behind the scenes, a couple of video ideas I've got that are interesting and, and some other things too that I've just got, just got in the locker that I'm working on. And I want to put a bit more time into that and I'm going to be able to now, which is good. And also, as I said, on top of that, you know, if there's times where I need to step aside, it's not going to impact anyone else and it's just going to be me. So and I, I kind of like things like that for now and that's how it's going to be. So yeah, ultimately... It's a good thing because it's obviously it's going to regulate my mood better, which then means I'm going to be more energetic, more enjoyable in the videos. You ain't got to sit here and suffer and watch me moan all the time. <laughs> and it just, yeah, it just means I can really, you know, put a bit more energy into my channel that kind of was lost by being a part of the Shuffle Squad again, which is something that I'm really looking forward to do. So it's going to be a good time. I think 2023 is going to be a fantastic year. It's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be really, really fun. And I'm looking forward to it. So uh, thank you to the Shuffle Squad. Thank you so much for taking me on board. Even considering me was an honor. So that that honestly means a lot. And if anyone else has joined in the future, I hope you have a great time. Um, and I feel like the next person who's going to get it clearly does deserve it. So that would be really, really cool. Anyway, with that said, we are going to leave it there. Thanks for watching the whole thing. I know it got a little bit deep and philosophical, but you should know be mine now. That's me, bro. That's how me brain be thinking. I love it. It's good fun, man. Good fun to talk about that stuff. And I think it's real. But anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. New videos coming out in the new year. We're going to have a good time. Bye-bye.